what's going on uh as you can probably tell from the opening part of this video i kind of messed up uh, part of it was my fault and part of it i blame on other people uh several several things went wrong to make me dissatisfied with how this camouflage paint job was coming out uh, it's dumb of me to get as far as i did before i realized that it just wasn't going to cut the mustard first off i was trying to reuse the stencils that i did on the previous boat build last year it's a uh, red leg havoc hd or havoc timber hd something like that and uh, they worked out really well but if you recall in the previous video what i did was end up cutting those stencils in half to allow the stencils to, to lay better on the boat what you run into with these stencils these stencils are big and of course you know your boat's pretty wide too but this center rib right here, how it bumps out, <clears throat> if you lay the stencil completely across it, it's going to not lay completely flat against the boat because of that rib. What happens is it gets real cloudy in those spots. So, like I said, I tried to do it, uh, reusing those stencils, cutting those stencils in half, worked out on that other boat, but not really working out too good on this boat. Now, I might be able to modify them further and make them work which i still might might be an option but like i said i tried to, to reuse the exact same sizes that i used on that previous boat and um one problem i'm running into the center rib right here divides your boat in in half well for whatever reason this is the first boat i've seen like this i'm imagining because of the age of the boat like if you have this this part is the bottom section right here at the back of the boat it's like five inches wide but as it gets to the front of the boat it's like 10 inches wide and the same thing with the, the top section of the boat. It's really wide in the back and it gets narrow up front. So that is one little hurdle that I was hitting. And another problem that's my fault is when I got done using those stencils last year, I just kind of threw them in the floor of my garage and they got trampled on and stuff and folded over, which created creases in them. As you can see right here, these creases, now I tried to lay them down and use a heat gun and try to hit them and heat them up to where they go back to shape, but they just really didn't. And that just creates more void when you're trying to lay the stencil on the boat. Uh, that was a problem I was having as well. Now, as to problems that weren't my fault, um, I originally painted this stuff with this. You know, it's a two-part stencil. And of course you do the, the blotches and then like the stencil I just showed up, the lines. And these are the, this is, this is the first stencil you use. And you know, I wanted to go with like a brown or a, like an olive color. And the closest thing I could find was this right here. And this is Rust-Oleum American Accents Ultra Matte Down to Earth. And you see the cap looks like a very matte dark brown. Well, this is what came out of this freaking can. Uh, that's not even close, right? <laughs> that is way off. Now, I, I noticed it as soon as I started spraying that it was pretty light colored. So I thought maybe it would dry to a little bit darker. And my fault, I just kept running with it. I did this whole side of the boat in the brown spots and just about the entire other side of the boat. And, you know, it definitely was lighter and I didn't really like it, but I thought maybe with the black stripes on it, the black, the tree bark looking stuff, that it would look better. Uh, once I got the, the black on there, I could, I was automatic, I was like, I hate this, it's hideous. So, I'm the blame for letting it go so far, but man, that is terrible to, to be off that bad. I mean, this is a, a what I would consider a dark brown. And the color that come out of the can is khaki. I mean, that's Rust-Oleum, you suck. But uh, to, to cure that problem, I went with another Rust-Oleum. But you can see that this can, this color right here is a lot closer to what I was looking for. And I have tested it on something other than my boat before I put it on the boat. And it's a lot closer to the cap color than the previous one. Not to mention, I like this color better anyways. I want it to match like a, the mossy oak color this brown right here, which this is a little more green than brown, but it's a heck of a lot closer than a daggum khaki color that I did have on the boat. All right, so that solves that problem. My other problem is what to do about these stencils. Well, I wanted to save some money and reuse them, but I figured the best thing to do 
is just go ahead and order another stencil kit and that's what i did and uh, they came in and this is what the full stencil looks like these i haven't modified they haven't been cut or anything and what i need to do is is just make sure that they're going to work to be honest with you and this is the full second stencil that you lay over i didn't really have a whole lot of problem with your first stencil the one that was cut in half <clears throat> as you can see i had to add a lot of tape in some areas of the boat but i mean almost all of the brown spots came out pretty crisp and clean so what I might do is reuse that one for the darker color and then try and figure out what to do with this, how well it's going to lay on there. I'd really like to get away with not cutting this one in half, but might have to. We'll see. But first things first is uh, let's get this brown laid on here.
needs to be on the edge. Oh my gosh, it's fucking scratched up. Well, there she is. Can't say I'm 100% happy with it, but uh, it's done regardless. And I'm very happy that it is done. This little camo paint job kicked my butt. I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, only thing I can really think of is that the whole of this boat is shaped so much different than the last one I did. I was really wanting this camo paint job to come out looking better than the first camo boat I did, but it really, it's just as good, maybe. I really think that first boat I did was like a, a darker green base, and this one is that khaki color, so I kind of feel like that makes it look like it's not as good. I just think that darker color hid more imperfections than this one did. That being said, I worked around it, and it, uh, it looks good. I'm not gonna just sit here and say that it looks like crap, I mean, it's camo, right? It is pretty cloudy in spots, and I was really wanting to get away from that. I ended up taking one of the old stencils that I already had cut in half, and I cut it in three pieces, and that seemed to work a lot better. It was slower, but being able to work, when you got that big, long piece, this just stuff just flailing around, and you have more chance of stuff getting off and askew, uh, with a smaller piece, you can kind of control it a little better, I learned. Uh, but that also means it takes longer to do. My best advice I can give you if you're wanting to do a camo paint job on a boat using these stencils is, man, just take your time. I mean, I, it took me, I did a few of the, the green spots of one day, maybe I worked on it for about an hour, and then... I did the rest of the boat, rest of the camouflage yesterday, and it probably took me a good eight hours to do this right here. And I mean, like I said, it, it don't look perfect. Um, it's it's good, I'll say that, but it's not nowhere near what I was wanting. And to be honest with you guys, I think the only way to get it where I want it is you're gonna have to make or go somewhere and have them do a decal, like a sticker decal, like a vinyl place and have them cut and weed it out, you know, either really big sheets to, you know, and then you just lay them on there, then paint it and then peel it off. I mean, that's really the only way to get a real, real good paint job on one of these boats. But like I said, I ain't, I'm not gonna beat this boat up no more. Uh, it, it looks good. It's a real good 10 footer. You know, it looks good from right here and I'm five foot away. You can get up close to it and inspect it and, and see a lot of imperfections, but it's not that freaking important. Uh, I was just hoping maybe I could find a trick or a loophole around this stuff. But what I found out is every boat is going to be different. So, like I said, take your time. That's key. Don't rush it. And also, you know, modify them stencils to however you need. And I end up using the big stencils that I ordered on bigger parts of the boat like in this very back where it's wider the big stents will work better and then in the smaller areas of the boat you know the, the smaller ones work better and of course like i said all the black lines uh, the small stencils really worked out well just because it's just so much going on and then stencils are so floppy that uh that was the trick as far as getting that decent <laughs> put it that way it's it's not great well all right i'm glad this is over with like i said i'm a little disappointed in it and how it, it turned out but uh that's uh that's life right <laughs> ain't everything gonna go um according to plan but um I, i'm happy with the colors and and I, honestly i'm happy with how it looks it does look good uh next step is to go ahead and start on the inside of this boat probably gonna include in one video just go ahead and prepping the inside uh, painting it and probably going to go ahead and camo some parts of the inside and then lay the foam down in the next video and then we can start uh, framing this thing out trying to figure out how we're going to finish it 
Well, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you learned something. Yeah, I learned a lot. Yeah, I learned that this little boat is kicking my butt. I appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one.